Hey guys, welcome back. So I got a little swatch and review video for y'all today on this palette right here. This is by Persona Cosmetics. This is the Identity Palette. Now, Persona Cosmetics was created by Sonia Gasparian. I hope I'm saying her name right. I do watch her channel, but I don't know if I've ever heard her say her name or I'm sure I've heard other people say her name, but I don't remember how to say it. So I think it's Sonia Gasparian of, I think her channel name is Simply Sonia. So anyway, she's beautiful. She seems so, so sweet. So this is her cosmetics line and this is a palette that she created. So I'm gonna run through the normal things that I do in my review videos. We'll talk about the pricing. We'll look at packaging. We'll look at some swatches. I'll talk about just kind of the formula and how these shadows perform and just give you my overall thoughts and review on this palette. So let's get to it. So the price of this palette is $32 and you get 12 eyeshadows for a total net weight of 0.48 ounces or 14.4 grams. This is what the outside box looks like. And then the actual palette is a really pretty design on the front. It's kind of like this, you know, Parisian sort of a city drawing. And then there's a girl standing here. It's just a really pretty picture. And then the back looks like this. So it is a cardboard packaging, but it does feel nice and sturdy, which is good. There is um, a nice mirror at the top of the palette. And then as far as like the kind of overall feel of this palette, it's a very neutral palette and it's a very warm toned neutral palette. So not a lot of cool tones going on in here. It's just very warm toned. And then as far as like the, you know, mix of shimmers and mattes, you get one, two, three, four, five shimmers, and then the rest are mattes and a nice um, collection of light shades, mid-tone shades, and then deep shades. So I, I love like all the colors that she picked. I think she did a really good job of kind of um, giving a lot of variety in the palette, but making just a really beautiful neutral warm tone palette. So let's look at some swatches. Okay, so starting right here, this is the top left side of the palette. This is Humble, Sassy, Gold Digger, Seductive, Second row, this is Charming, Maverick, Bombshell. That one right there is Goddess. Bottom row of the palette, this one is Audacious. This is the only one I had to build up just a little bit. Still built up nicely, but it took a little bit more work than the other ones, which took absolutely no effort. So this took a tiny bit of effort. The rest of them, no effort. So that one right there, again, is Audacious. This one is Chic, this one is Bossy, and that one is Fearless. So I got the um, number wrong on the number of metallics. This one is slightly metallic, so that would be another metallic there. And then Fearless seems to be, I haven't played with those two colors, that's why I really didn't know a lot about them. Um, Fearless seems to be more of a satin, just slightly satiny. So there are all the swatches, absolutely beautiful. Then as far as the formula and performance on these shadows, this formula is so good. So, so good. The mattes are buttery and pigmented. They're just like that perfect texture where they're not powdery. There's very minimal fallout. They're just like, they almost look like, look like a cream. Like when you use them, they look like as if they're a cream, like kind of the little indentation in the little pan. They're not creams, they're powders, but they just have that like beautiful buttery texture to them where they just blend themselves. They are effortless to blend. They blend nicely together, but they still say, stay um, separated and they don't get all like one muddy gray eye look. It actually like stays like different colors. So love the mattes. The metallics are amazing. They are so pigmented and beautiful. They don't need any kind of MAC Fix Plus or any kind of like mixing medium to intensify them. They're intense with a first swatch, but then they build on themselves and get more intense. Oh my goodness, I like have nothing but good things to say about this formula. It's perfect. It is absolutely perfect in my opinion. And then they don't fade throughout the day. They wear really, really well. So yeah, perfect eyeshadow texture and formula in my opinion. I absolutely love it. These have been a dream to work with. So you can probably already tell that my overall review on this palette is that I absolutely love it and I highly, highly recommend it. I don't think you'd be disappointed. 
These are just really fun to work with. If you like neutral eyeshadow palettes, I think you would love this one. So hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful for you. Please give a thumbs up if it was. Let me know down below if you've tried this palette. What are your thoughts on it? I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!